Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We welcome you as we celebrate Friday of the third week of Lent, uh, and this is the third day of uh, no public masses in the Rockford Diocese, so the third day of somewhat of a quarantine for our area and our parish, um, but uh, it's good that we can connect this way uh, through this video, so uh, I do welcome you, and uh, we do certainly ask for God's mercy, love, and forgiveness. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite and the humble of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call and free all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are the eternal word made flesh, the very splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take your words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render and as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will hear, heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. And they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden his hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would free them, 
with the best of wheat and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is the one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm taken by the words of the hymn, Hosea, Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. The song recalls Israel's infidelity and its collapse and guilt and God's continual outpouring of love in spite of that, and an invitation to return to the covenant relationship. Hosea speaks of God's love for a sinful people, and Jesus uh, echoes that love in today's gospel. Uh, love, mercy, and forgiveness. And it seems like uh, more and more of that is going to be needed at this time, uh, and uh, less and less of the uh, blame game, uh, which is also happening. Uh, in the midst of a crisis, uh, probably the last thing we really need to do is uh, say, well, it's their fault, or it's that country's fault, or uh, that president's fault, or this person's fault. Let's just focus on a cure. Let's just focus on uh, uh, healing. And uh, thankfully, most people, I think, are doing that. And that's what we really need to do. Uh, maybe there will be time for the blame game later. But uh, we really, more than ever, have an opportunity to focus on coming together and having some solidarity on this issue. So let us pray that that is indeed... Um, what happens, I think that's the spirit of today's readings. For all the intentions of our universal church, we, and, uh, we lift up our prayer needs to at this time. We pray for all the intentions of our universal church, pray for the intentions of Pope Francis, Bishop Malloy, and all religious leaders as they do their best to shepherd their people through these difficult days. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, national and local leaders, as they strive to provide direction and counsel through this crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are afflicted by the coronavirus, their families and all their loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all medical personnel, doctors and nurses treating the sick and working on a cure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have lost employment and all the lives who have been upended by this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and vulnerable and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our dearly departed, having died with Christ, may they return to life with him. And all who have died recently, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of this Mass, for Donna and Chuck Jordan, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the propose of the soul of Monsignor Monahan, who died this week. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, for the prayers we list in our parish intention book and prayer chain, that they be united to those of our patroness, St. Catherine Drexel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask here these prayers and all our prayers as always through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God, for it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, that with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your wonderful lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of a heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from coronavirus, COVID-19 and all serious illness. For all who have died from it, have mercy. For those that are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. 
For those afraid, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves to your infinite mercy. Amen. The wilderness will lead you to your heart where I will speak integrity and justice with tenderness you shall know. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. 